All right, let's roll. Hi, and welcome to the business of being a virtual assistant. I'm your host, Tiffany Parson, and this is episode number 183. Today's episode, I want to talk to you about when personal and professional collide. So since our last episode, it's like (laughs) everything has just exploded. It seems like that day, um, protests started, uh, looting broke out after peaceful protest, rioting after peaceful protest and groups infiltrating communities that they uh, don't even live in, don't even live in the same city or the same state. It's been a mess, y'all. And this is what I mean by when personal and professional collide. We are business owners, and I'm sure you've seen a lot of businesses and companies and people that you follow sharing their views or not sharing their views, Um, standing in solidarity or not standing in solidarity. And this is where our personal convictions cross over into our professional life. So what do we do? What do we do about it? Do you hold to your belief because that is your belief or do you go with popular opinion opinion or what's trending even though that may go against your personal belief this is where personal collides with professional I hadn't said a whole lot about this and uh, I didn't even know the heaviness that it was carrying on me because I've been able to, and you may be able to relate to this as well in my life, just continue to move forward even when things are not so great all around, simply because it has to get done, right? I was on a training um, Wednesday this week. And um, we were given an opportunity to share or just vent, whatever. It was a, you know open, comfortable, free, safe space. And that is when I realized the heaviness that this all is. My notes are here. Um, I've got, I guess, like chalkboard vinyl paper on the wall, and I wrote three points on it to make sure I don't lose my spot. So if you see me look that way, that is what I'm looking at. And I didn't even know (laughs) that I would get emotional again this morning about it, and I'm praying to God this morning because I was going to, you know, let's just skip this episode, but it's something that it's like, you can skip it, but you eventually are going to have to come back and address it. I'm so glad I was going to go on live and record this on Facebook live to save myself a step this morning, but I'm I'm so glad that I decided to not, (laughs) not do that. Um, so that I'm not distracted or get nervous or anything, but, um, I want to say this to all of my fellow virtual assistant business owners, stand in your truth. Whether you agree or disagree, it doesn't matter. Stand in your truth. When you try to cater to what other people think you should say, it doesn't hurt them. It hurts you. And at some point down the road, then you have to figure out, okay, who am I? What am I doing? So this is, this is where, this is where I stand on all this. I am grieved, frustrated, sad. (laughs) I I put also numb 
on my Facebook. Uh, none of this that's going on is new. For some reason, it's like someone turned on the lights and now everyone has to wake up. I don't know why everyone is waking up now because this has happened before. We've had video before. And um, one video I watched, it was saying that people are more awakened now because of time, because of Corona, everybody's slowing down. So now they're able to see. Well, thank God. <laughs> Thank God, everybody's able to see what many of us have been seeing all along. <sighs> been doing a lot of deep <laughs> breathing. If you are a believer in Jesus Christ and worry has come into play for you, or you're feeling anxious that has come into play with you. I challenge you to read your Bible and pray. It sounds cliche, but the Bible is real. I'm not going to read scripture to you because that's not what you came for. But I that is specifically for my my fellow believers this is one of the things that just i want to scream because i've seen video after video where people i'm, a, I'm i worry about my dad and my brother and my uncle and my friend look i thought you said you were a believer in jesus christ when my husband leaves the house i'm not worried about him when he leaves in that way See, we're covered in the blood of Jesus Christ. Matthew 6 tells us some translations use the word worry. Some translations use the word anxious, but God tells us not to be. Do not worry. Do not be anxious. You read it for yourself. I'm not going to read it for you. But if you have a friend or a family member, somebody that's all up in arms and worried, but the other day, they were thanking the Lord Jesus. You know they're supposed to be saved. Hello, wake them up. <laughs> There's a song in my head now. <laughs> it's, the song, it says, pick it up, you know, wake them up, wake them up. <laughs> yeah, wake them up. We can't pray and worry at the same time, right? See, I got on the floor, literally, head down to ask God what to do. What do I do? Do I record this morning, skip this morning? What do you want me to say? I, I got to just let you know, you can't pray and worry. Whether it's about what's happening in the world around us right now or what's happening in your own home, you cannot pray and worry at the same time. It doesn't work. Because when I pray, I take my cares to God. And when I get up from prayer, he's got it. But if I carry the worry, and I pray and I take the worry back with me. What I'm saying is, I don't trust you, God. I'll take this one. Uh-uh. Let it go. Let it go. Here's what we can do, right? We can pray. We can change what we can change. What can you change? The things that are around you. I've been talking about focusing on your corner of the world. I can't make a change in a whole nother city, a whole nother state, but I can change my area, my corner of the world. See, if all of us take care of our corners, then we won't see this chaos that we're seeing. We won't see People taking advantage of a situation to vandalize hardworking business owners, businesses, to throw things at hardworking police officers. We won't see bad police officers killing citizens, whether they're protesting 
or they're being charged or arrested. Yeah, you charge the criminals. Yeah, you arrest the criminals. But where does it say kill them on the way? We have rights to protest. We have rights to speak out for ourselves. But where does it say kill us on the way? We can't change it. That's where we need to pray and we need to act, right? What does acting look like? So neighbors, you got neighbors? Do all your neighbors look like you? All my neighbors don't look like me. Be loving, be respectful, be kind. Treat your neighbor as thyself. But if you're mistreating self, you're going to mistreat others. And maybe that's a part of this as well. Do we love ourselves enough to not want to harm someone else? Do we love ourselves enough to want to pass it on to someone else? I hope the answer is yes for those of you that are listening, those of you that are watching. I hope the answer is yes. If you haven't realized it, let me tell you, our personal and our professional have collided and it's a great thing. Here's why. We can be open, we can be honest, we can be ourselves. And when you're open, honest, and yourself, you can breathe. You can speak out. You can help those who can't help themselves. You can make a difference in someone else's life. But if I'm worrying, if I'm anxious, if I won't stand up for myself, if I won't build myself, if I won't build the things that I want to do in my life, how can I help somebody else? I can't. I can't. I also cannot see the second note on my board. Ah, be yourself. <laughs> I took my glasses off y'all because I wanted to have good light. Didn't feel like going back downstairs to get my contacts. It's a whole thing. Um, but three things, and I've said it already, but just to give you three. If you are a believer in Jesus Christ, do not carry worry. Do not carry anxiousness. Take that to the Lord in prayer. And then when you are done praying, you get up and you go and you do the thing that you know you're supposed to do. That's what we have control over. We don't have control over what happens when we leave the house. We don't have control over that because we can't control people, right? I don't know what's going on at the store down the street. I don't know what's going on in my neighbor's house right now. We don't know. We don't, I don't know what's happening on your end, but I know what's happening on mine and that's where I can make the difference. This is why we can't be worrying, why we can't be anxious. God tells us not to, and this is why. Be yourself. If you think you have to play a certain role to get clients, kill that. You don't want the client that you have to play the role for. You don't want the client that you have to hide from, meaning they don't know what you look like. You don't want that client. If they don't want you because of what you're looking like, they're not the client for you. It's just like if they're looking for somebody with super cheap rates, they're not the client for you because we don't do super cheap rates. Am I right? No, we don't do super cheap rates. We do excellent work. We provide fabulous services. We treat our client's business as though it were our own. And that ain't cheap. In all of this, in all of this, while people are grieving, mourning, angry, mad, frustrated, what can you do to make a difference in your corner of the world? 
get to it. We all have a lot of work to do. Thank you guys so much for listening and for watching. You have a wonderful and fantastic day.